A Sacred Rising Through Autism presents a guided meditation, empowered relating with the energies of Earth. This guided meditation is designed to help you better understand your role as an empath and the unique challenges that can often arise. When we enter a world vibrating by necessity at lower frequency, it can be a genuine shock to our energetic system. As an empath myself, I've learned that until we remember the oneness we share with source energy and all the fractals of creation, we struggle with creating and maintaining boundaries. In many ways, we are born with a fear of missing out and may even despise feeling separate or different from others. Therefore, it was easy for us as children to become influenced by the various energies of our families and childhood experiences, some very traumatic, in an attempt to confirm we belong. The more we practice this merging with the energies around us, however, the less we can actually relate to them. This is because our more fluid energy body is easily overwhelmed and can get lost in the never-ending waves of thoughts, feelings, and trying experiences, those of our own as well as those of others. I would like to suggest that becoming aware of these tendencies is the first step to living as an empowered empath. So let's imagine that the ocean represents all the contrasting vibrations, possibilities, and eclectic experiences of planet Earth. We want to experience the energies of Earth without feeling overwhelmed or subservient to them. We want to engage with the waves, but in a way that feels inspiring and thrilling. We want to enjoy intimacy with others without feeling threatened by our differences. We want to respect all unique currents, but maintain the right to choose the ones we surf. We want to allow our children, partners, nearby planets, and nature at large to take inspired action without throwing us off course. Now it is time to close your eyes and imagine you are learning to surf for the very first time. Feel the salty ocean water air around you. As you gaze upon the large waves, your body is full of anticipation and wonder. The questions that rise in your mind may be, will I be able to do this? Will the waves crash upon me and take me under? Will I learn this skill or will I give up? As you time each wave and steady yourself on your board, you recognize you are using new muscle combinations and new discernment skills. Several attempts occur and the waves do indeed crash upon you, pushing you underwater. The sound of the water rushing past your ears and the cool sensation on your face create a familiar pattern right before you lose your balance. Strangely enough, it is often a comforting experience to be overtaken by a wave. This is because you feel embraced and connected to the energy of the ocean. You notice you are continually given another opportunity to rest, reassess, and try surfing again. After several falls, you realize that you are allowing fear of separation to creep up at the last second And this fear causes you to lose focus and succumb to the wave. You decide to try something different. You remember that right now, you are not the ocean. You identify as a surfer, one who rides upon the waves. Your newest goal is to interact with the energy of the wave through the boundary of a surfboard. 
You steady yourself and feel the oneness you naturally possess with the element of water. You tune into the energy of the next wave even while it is still in the distance with deep reverence and love. You move more independently yet in sync with the current this time, feeling strong, steady, and empowered. You maintain your identity as a surfer the entire time, and you discover you are still standing as the wave crashes behind you. Take a deep breath, place your hand upon your heart, and repeat this intention. I exist to bring my sensitivity and oneness to a world that needs those qualities more than ever. In order to be successful, however, I must create a conscious barrier between myself and all I engage with. By honoring this energetic barrier that separates me from all else, my energy is able to fully align and flow with source energy, that which connects everything else in divine order. Take another deep breath and release. And when you are ready, you may open your eyes. The empath's challenge upon earth is typically to create boundaries and nurture self-love. We have a tendency to desire to mirror the oneness we represent. In this dimension, however, it is separation from outside energies that often enables us to stay connected to source energy and thus embody our true transformative light. We unconsciously perceive a fractal of source in almost everything and don't want to miss out on the experience of connection. However, our systems become easily overwhelmed, dysregulated, inefficient, and paralyzed when we merge rather than relate with the various energies that surround us. This can happen through overly focusing on traumatic past experiences, forming attachments to individuals who do not meet us in reciprocity, consuming foods that do not align with our systems, and accepting demanding schedules that do not serve the needs of our bodies. When we surf the energies, we are relating to other energy as sovereign beings. When we succumb to the waves, we are choosing to experience the oneness over alignment. There are many ways to experience oneness within ourselves. The more we nurture inner oneness, the more we accept our separateness while on earth and can co-create harmony. I personally ground myself through meditation, music, movement, art, nurturing my gifts and passions, and enjoying quality time with nature and supportive individuals. We humans often crave variety, though I challenge you to experience the activating waves of earth without allowing them to drag you under every time. This is a skill worth developing in a world that is needing conscious, empowered, sovereign leaders. Remember to always practice patience and self-compassion on your journey. Much love, Autumn. We hope you benefited from this guided meditation. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more supportive content.